Hello, I am Nicholas Butler, and welcome to the first episode of my new podcast, Nicholas Butler on Indigenous Topics. During this podcast, we'll be covering a variety of things relating to Indigenous people in Canada, and today we'll be going over stereotypes. Let's get right into this. The problem that I'll be covering during this episode is, has anyone ever made an assumption about you because of some aspect of your identity? Was it a positive assumption or was it a negative one? How did you find out about the assumption? How did you respond? What story would you like people to know about you? And this is my response. As a young white male in today's society, I found this prompt challenging because I have not had to face some of the negative assumptions that others my age have had to go had to face. For example, due to race or gender. I recognize that this places me in a position of privilege. However, I can think of one time in elementary school where this indeed did happen. When I was in elementary school, I hung out with the sporty kids that were my main group of friends. There was this kid named Levon who was not athletic or sporty at all. One of our mutual friends once told me that Levon did not like me, and I was unsure why. He felt that way because I never had any uh, any interactions with him. So from that day forward, I made a tremendous effort to be nice to Levon since he thought I was mean. Once I started talking to him about our hobbies and interests, we quickly realized that we had a lot more in common than we thought. He mentioned that he was really into Pokemon cards and YouTube at that age. I also loved Pokemon cards and YouTube. It turns out we had so much more in common than we thought. We both had YouTube channels, we both loved Pokemon cards, we both loved video games. Levon and I started to talk more frequently, and soon enough, he invited me over to his place, and I had the most fun a young boy could have. I wanted to go to Levon's house every single day. We started chatting every single day in school, hanging out more regularly, we became great friends over the bond we shared from our many similar interests. A few months after Levon and I became very close friends, I finally decided to ask him, Levon, how come you did not like me before we became friends? He pretended like I'd... I did not know what he was talking about. After a little while, he said, The only reason I did not like you is because you hung out around with the jocks. In the, in the movies, jocks are always mean. He realized after he got to know me better that I was not like that at all. The story I'd like people to know about me is that I am not mean because I hang out with jocks and sporty kids. It is better to not judge people based on looks or your own personal beliefs before you get to know them. If one puts effort into knowing people, you will realize that we all have a lot more in common then we have indifferences. Leading by this example will help society to stop stereotyping others and giving everyone the fair chance they all deserve. If Levon had gone to know me better before he even made negative assumptions about me, our amazing friendship could have started a lot sooner. Thank you for listening to the first episode of my new podcast, and I'll talk to you in episode two. Thank you and bye-bye.